Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo. Mixing classic instruments with hip-hop and soul, the Last Gasp Collective is bringing new and lively music to the Kalamazoo arts scene. We sit down with a few members to hear about its history and roots. Now take your last gas for the thoughts that make you dark, that cloud your heart, and breathe them out, and rid yourself of all that you just doubt. Uh, so let me hate it and they say it, cause y'all spread your wings, baby, 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 and feel the wind beneath it, you can't achieve it, please believe it, I want it only do right exam, the architect with the master plan, now go, now go and get it, baby. It wasn't even a collective when it got started. It was me and Drew, and we called ourselves Bit of Sun. That's uh, his last name and my last name fused together. Jack Sun, Mobita, so we took the beat of. Yeah, Beat of Sun, and uh, it was just us, like, <clears throat> I'd make beats like on FL Studio Fruity Loops and then you'd sing on them and I'd sometimes rap on them. It started just your typical people in their bedroom uh, with the interface recording stuff in the closet and then it. Yeah. We didn't even have interfaces or recording stuff in the closet to start off with. I remember him sending me beats on my cell phone oh, and I'd true. record it right back exactly. in my vehicle. I'd sing it in my phone and send the file back to him through some Dropbox we used to use. It was so, like, not very technical at all, but that's how it really, really started. So I'ma ride it till the wheels fall off it. At least that's what the old folks say. Nowadays, we roll up all our problems and hopes that they blow away. Young black about my business. Can't tell me this ain't no target. Stop lifting at the target. You talking about times, don't get me started. I'm 24 years old and I still get caught in. I've been trying to make a name for myself since I can remember. Still, that's not no was nappy headed country choir boy from Calvin Center. I've been feeling like a force that can't be reckoned with. Don't ever let your left hand know what your right hand working with. I did three years in college, did without a single credit. I caught it, me finding myself with my folks caught it pathetic. I'm just trying to change the world, girl, that be cope aesthetic. When I got my head dreaded, always was hard headed. Won't let him sell me no dream and gas me up like I'm letting. Well, let them tell me no dream, but gas me up like a letter, I say. I would describe the collective uh, sound as primarily like R&B uh, or soul music and um, uh, hip hop as well, very hip hop based. And then the gospel influence is undeniable. So some hybrid of those three genres. Nothing sounds the same. Every song has a different feel or different sound to it. Working up to go to school steady, wasted a semester, wasting my gas, driving to class. Damn, I was mass fam for years on an hour class play. There's nothing left here to show but that so oh boy. We were just making music for fun originally because we just thought, you know, it's something that we've always done uh, growing up. Just we were raised in the church and uh, we decided to continue making music that way and performing. So we were used to it a little bit, but we evolved um, probably when we first came to Kalamazoo and uh, Jay moved up here for a job. We, uh, selling cars. Selling cars, <laughs> yeah. He met some buddies up here and uh, we changed our name. I really hated the name change at first. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were at a bar <laughs> and they said, we're not gonna be bitter son no more. We're gonna be last gasp. And I said, what is that? But I like it now. Because we wanted it to be a collective. Like once we came here, we met a bunch of different artists, a bunch of different people we saw had the same passion and the same dream to uh, be performing artists and get paid to do it. So we're like, okay, well we want to include them too. So it's not fair to them if they're running around with our last our names last, as a title. At so. that point, it wasn't just the two of us anymore. It was a big, it was a bigger picture. Oh, 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 yeah. Now 
Trapping is all the rage, and conscious say what pays. Can't stop making beats and sound just like this blaze. I'm like a runaway slave, my parents praying is the phase. Don't tell me, don't remind you of the minutes and days. How quickly we all managed to abandon our innocent ways. Our ancestors was near the thorns in the caves, and ain't too much change. Cause look at you, a brother in a cage. Wonder why the politicians answers all our questions so vague. Don't trust Democrats, Republicans, they all in cahoots. Villains disguised as signing suits. I saw the slave a whole lies, just assigning them same suits. I would not compromise. I'm part of that case, who I comprehend. I was adopted by the Germans, and my mama had the bottom. And I'm 23, and I got all them same problems. I've been so caught up in the act, I don't know me no more. You see, my kid is six months, trying to hurt me to my core. Is he rap like this? Tell you the truth, I couldn't tell you why I act like this. I know some hot, some white, some white, but we're gonna rock with this. But like I got so much soul, I should sign to the rock with this. Yeah, uh, but ain't no business like show business where they bought him and sold. Dark and rain's gonna change another thing. We come from a very small town, or a couple of small towns that are right next to each other, uh, Cassopolis, Michigan. So it's not much there. There's the school, there's a gas station, there's McDonald's, and then there's a bunch of factories and cornfields. So if you're not a farmer or a teacher, just a normal working class person, there isn't too much to foster your creative and artistic uh, side. So when we came here to a larger city, a more urban environment, uh, there's things in place, open mics, uh, <coughs> grant funded programs that just allow people to get out their creative side so we just took advantage of it like we had, we were forced where we came from to play instruments and sing just be, out of pure boredom and nothing else to do and we just made what we had uh, out of what we had but then we came here it's like oh we can really do this like they're supporting this they're, there's an appreciation yeah for they it, appreciate yeah. it yeah. here so like that gave us even more like go do this go get them and then we opened mics. We just started running into people. And yeah, it went from there, meeting different vocalists, meeting guitar players, meeting piano players, uh, people who, like, I love making music more than anything in the world. It's like my number one thing to do. And I would meet people who like shooting video as much as I like making music. Or I would meet someone who like drawing as much as I like creating music. So that was like amazing. I was like, see, we can make this happen, man. You draw the cover, you shoot the music video, I make the music, and like, we can make our own thing here. Yeah. So Kalamazoo made me realize that that was doable and not some far-fetched, crazy thing that they tell us in the country not to even think about. Yeah.